Good morning. Would God sentence a false prophet to death? The question we'll have answered this morning. Our reading is Jeremiah chapter 28, verses 15 to 17. Not a long reading. And this goes with the previous three mornings. So here we go. Then the prophet Jeremiah said to Hananiah the prophet, Hear now, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, but you make this people trust in a lie. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will cast you from the face of the earth. This year you shall die, because you have taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month. So Hananiah has interfered strongly with God's work here. He's spoken against prophecies that Jeremiah uttered at God's leading, directly against them. And now through Jeremiah, God pronounces judgment. He's declared outright a false prophet. Hananiah, you're a false prophet. God has not sent him. He's misleading the people. And interesting here, he proclaimed a false prophecy with a two-year timer on it. You know, within two full years, this will happen. But God makes a pronouncement here now. Hananiah is going to die this year. So he certainly won't be proven right in two years. If he dies this year, will he be? If those things don't come to pass, Hananiah won't even know it. He's going to be dead. Dead as in deceased. But why not just kill him outright? Why not make an object lesson of him there, you know? Send a big thunderbolt from heaven and everybody says, Ugh, we, we don't, we're going to not be engaged in those false prophecy things. God doesn't do that. But instead, God is still wanting to do what? What do you think? Come on, by now you know, don't you? God wants to win back Hananiah. He wants Hananiah in the kingdom. Hananiah is going to die within one year. God's made that announcement. But it doesn't mean he will be lost in that year. It doesn't mean he won't repent and come back and maybe be in the kingdom. Wouldn't it be interesting if we got to the New Jerusalem one day and your next door neighbor up there, the guy living in the apartment right next to you in the holy city, Hananiah, because he turned at the last days, at the last days of his days. He came over onto God's side. Well, I don't know if that will happen, but I do know that it's pretty clear here. Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month, so all done. But God gives him time to repent so that he can, he can turn and be saved. Even God even wants to save the false prophets, one of the most offensive kinds of a person you can be, a false prophet, fake speaking for God. God wants those people in the kingdom too. And I think it's true what 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20 teaches. When we believe the Lord our God, we will be established. When we believe his prophets, we will prosper. Hananiah didn't prosper. Hananiah was a false prophet. Jeremiah was a true prophet. Let's go along there with Jeremiah on God's side of the question. As for Hananiah, I hope that in the end he turned and was saved. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, the prophets speak for you and not for themselves. And then the question comes always back to, to us. What about me? Do I speak for you or for myself? So Lord, let each one uh, thinking on this to think through this question and double check our heart, Lord. Please, you be our guide. You be our leader. May we go where you show us to go, not go where you show us not to go. May we do what you want us to do and show us how to do it faithfully and give us the courage and the activity to do it faithfully. Oh, Lord, be our God, be our guide, be our helper, even if we come up against false teachers and false prophets. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Would God sentence a false prophet to death? Yes, he would, but not from malice, to be a protector of his people. And maybe in this case, giving that time period, hoping that Hananiah will turn and repent and be saved. I can serve a God like that today. You serve him too.